Welcome back to the object oriented programming in Python and in this episode we are going to talk about the operator overloading. What it is and why it is useful and why it is beneficial for you. Let's see in this episode. So let's first create a class and I'm going to create a class of book a simple class and define in it and I'm going to give a price here so that I can do self dot price is equal to price. That's great. Then I'm going to create two object of this book class and one is $10 and other is $20. So this is book two. Great. And then let's define a total price variable and let's just say book one dot price plus book two dot price and let's print this total price let's see and yes we are getting 30 which is the expected result but here comes the new thing what if i don't want to do book one dot price i just want to say book one plus book two and this should return with a total price but what if i run this okay so python say whatever you are trying to do i don't know how to do i don't know how to add two objects so i'm going to give an error so that's why here we are getting error unsupported operation type on book and book these are both instance of book so python doesn't know how you can add two objects so here comes our operator overloading this means now we can define this, this operator in our sense. That means now whatever we want to have this plus sign can do. You can just do multiplication on this plus sign. And this is the very powerful thing to do on the Python. And because it is so powerful that you need to be careful about the changing of the meaning. So this plus sign doesn't have any meaning on operation on two objects. So now we are going to define something which will tell Python how to add two objects. But before going on that, let me introduce you with the special functions. So the special functions in Python start with double underscore, just like this. Init method is a simple special function which start with double underscore. So when, whenever you are using this plus sign for any integers, so suppose you are doing two plus three and this is going to let's just comment this this is going to give you five this is this plus sign is actually on the back end of the python is using underscore underscore add method so if you say int dot add and adding three and two it's going to result in the same way because this add function is actually is actually connected to this uh, uh, plus operator similarly we have the subtract method so we have sub which is just going to subtract these two so if i run it yeah we get five and we get minus one so there are a whole list of this special functions you can see we have all these functions which you can easily use in any kind of python program and you can override these things so now we get the idea of how the operators behaves. So how we can tell Python that yes, you need to add the prices of the object I am giving you here. So now let's just comment these two and try to print once more total price and we know it's going to give error, but now we need to define a function and the function, yes, we are overriding underscore underscore add function and this add function is going to get the first as a self and then other that means it is going to get one instance here or one instance here so we just need to return self dot price plus other dot price so like this okay so now if i run it you can see we have magically defined the 
plus sign on this object and now Python know that whenever we are trying to add any object we are just going to add their prices and now let's do another cool thing this time I'm going to compare the prices so I will say compare is equal to book one dot price is less than book two dot price this is I'm going to say compare and run it it says true yeah because we are providing the actual price but again I don't want to give the price I just want to have the object comparison but yes Python doesn't know how to compare two objects so this time again I'm going to define another method which is for comparison but we don't know how Python using which function behind this less than sign not a problem let's go to the python documentation here and search for less than sign and searching for less than sign and i think we need to search like here so searching for less than sign yes you can see we are getting this result x minus y calls x dot l t so i think you are getting the point that the comparison function is actually underscore underscore l T. and again it's getting self and other so we need to say return self dot price and less than sign and other dot price so this time in python know that how to compare these two so this means now we are getting the true instead of that error so again if i comment this run it we are getting error and uncomment it run and exact result what we want so this is called operator overloading we have overloaded the operator with our functionality our system whatever our logic it <laughs> logic is so this is all about overloading and if you have liked this episode please share these videos with your friends like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram subscribe to this channel for more advanced python tutorials and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye